Hello everyone, I'm Alex, and welcome back to another episode of the Internet Sensation Podcast. Now, this is an announcement. This isn't the full episode. The full episode of All The Boys is coming up straight after this. But I wanted to let you guys know that we are now officially on Patreon. Now, you don't have to support me. It's really not necessary. But if you do want a bonus episode every single week, then please just chip in a couple quid and you can help pay for the studio, the rent, keeping the lights on. It will be appreciated. It's an expensive show to run, and uh, any help is really, really, really needed um, for me. Uh, but but you don't have to, okay? I know I've used the word needed there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Feels manipulative now. Um, we'll get a brand on it. We'll get some brands on it, okay? We will. Uh, I'll sell my soul uh, to keep the lights on. But I'd rather be indebted to you. Um, but if you want a whole extra episode, <laughs> you can get one, is what I'm saying. It's just a couple quid. It's never going to be anything more than that. There'll be bonus stuff on there. I'll ask you guys some questions. You have priority. And also, I'll put you guys all up at the end of every episode and a wall of text for supporting the show. So thank you to those people who do, and uh, if you don't, enjoy it for free. You horrible, horrible person. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex. Welcome back to another episode of the Internet Sensation Podcast. This is officially episode four, guys. How crazy is that? Fucking yeah, hell. Come on, Jesus is this your Christ. longest podcast Fucking you've ever not. heard? <laughs> oh, to be fair, this is a this is a debate. Why is Lewis Bucking joined? Lewis Bucking, what do you want? Lewis, you're not in this podcast, mate. <laughs> I'll just go die then. <laughs> what the fuck? I you kicked him from the group. How did he reappear? I added, added him back in out of pity. All right, I added him back in out of pity. He, he, by the way, Lewis Bucking can't join the podcast today because he's had a kid. Um. He's had a child. He's had a baby. Yeah, so he's looking after that child, obviously, because he's responsible. He's responsible, so he can't he can't be involved. I, I suppose we'll, we'll go around the circle. I don't know if everybody's in the same order here. Uh, and I'll just ask you guys what you've been doing to start this Why podcast. This Why are you back? What have you come back for? Can I listen? Can you listen? <laughs> well, you might as well just be in it. Yeah, you might as well just join the podcast. I mean, the, I got the audio recording, so this, you will be in it. Oh. Just turn your camera on record. Can I not be like corpse? You can and just... be like the fake. No. Like just... corpse? You want to be like corpse? <laughs> well, I'll, okay, if you're in it, I'll flash no. an image up on screen to replace you if, if that's what you want. Oh. This I'll is find... the funny thing about podcasts. In a video, this would be edited out and we try again. No. <laughs> Four minutes into this podcast, and it, we're it's just right. listening to Alex great. debate whether Lewis is going to be in the podcast. Act, or not. What funny image! I need to I'll really find a funny this video, but I may, I may just come join in like twenty minutes. I may just come and join in twenty minutes. Okay. All but right, you, that's nice. You of would you. have missed out on most of the conversation. The, re think... the retention is rapidly slipping away from us. <laughs> no, I think people will love this. To oh, be fair. it's all about you, is it, Arthur? Yeah. It's all about you, Arthur, is it? Arthur, this is my podcast, the mate. The retention is slipping away from me. Yeah. The retention's got nothing to do with me. It's Alex's podcast. Oh, yeah. It's the, well, it's the viewers I, I, you I, about. You're the only, per you're the only person. Yeah, you're the only person who's got in their bio, mate. <laughs> No. Yeah, that's true. I'm a permanent co-host now. I don't even think four I've got. I don't even think I've got in my bio, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think if anybody, oh, yeah, if I think you fair, own I this podcast. Put it in my podcast. bio because I went. Yeah, come on. So Lewis, I'm going to register it on Company's House. Yeah, I nice. Right, already done. <laughs> I obviously am. I'm a professional, Arthur. How dare you insult me? Oh my god. This sounds like I've just made it up, but I've just broke my SD card whilst plugging it in to. My thing. What a thrilling. That sounds like I'm just oh, making is, up is, to is avoid it... the. This is... We're going are you for in... a world record for the most boring start to a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> are you in, are you in yeah. the podcast? Are you in or are you out? Yeah, it's like you know when you were younger and you were playing out. You're like, you know you're out now. You know you're out. It's kind of me of my sexuality, to be fair. By the way, fun fact, guys. My SD card. <laughs> thrilling. <Yeah. laughs> fun fact, guys. Arthur's king. <laughs> Leave. Leave. <laughs> You've lost privileges Fantastic. now. You have to leave. You have to leave. leave. You have to go now. I'm gonna. Yeah. I, do you know what? I'm gonna make sure he can't come back. So I'm gonna remove him from the group. All right. There we go. All right. So Arthur, sorry about that, what, mate. What, do, we re, nice. do we restart? Do we restart the no, podcast? Or no. No. We, we don't. Just continue from we, there. I we, thought the intro was funny. This is a great Fair intro. Enough. And also, to be this honest, this internet Arthur, sensation mate, is. I don't care. Oh, hold on. So, um, everything Fair stays enough. in on this podcast. We have uh, no quality control. That's the rule. Um, I wanted to go around and uh, introduce what everybody. What if I just pull my pants down? Well, that would okay. be more detrimental to you because you'd know it's staying in. So why? Very true. Is that I'm, what you want you to do? You don't have a zoom lens, so it's fine. <laughs> a zoom. No, nope, no. Nope. Let's just go around the circle. Okay. Alpha TV. Can I just what talk about my opinion on 
Um, oh, okay, no. Yeah. This week? Yeah, Arthur Hill, you can... you Wait, mate. Wait, we're going to go around in a circle. All right? Sorry. So just fucking hold this up week, it. This week, what have I done? I, I buried my hamster. Oh, not this again. I, straight in the deep end. Moving out, moving on. <laughs> Arthur Hill, have you, hell. Arthur, you've been I up to something. Now I went to Tesco. <laughs> Arthur Hill, do you have a dead hamster, or you, or you, have you been doing something more interesting this week? No, no. Um, what have I done this week? I, I haven't. I mean, last week I was disgustingly ill. You were actually. This week, um, I'm just recovering, what man. Just joined a joined a fancy gym now. Like you know, there's like sort of like pleasantly ill. No. <laughs> <laughs> where you just kind of like it's like you're just enough ill to sort of cancel everything but you're actually quite looking forward to it yeah actually you know? no i do know what you bit mean sniffly yeah i get maybe you maybe a bit I of a cough I get you. yeah and you're like okay i can i can re i can rest and reset but this was like i can't even like watch t- i was just like staring at the ceiling i like, wanted to die oh, that's um awful. just like arthur's hamster <laughs> would you rather be like that or bury your hamster i think that's the real question <laughs> yeah let's pick I vote for just <laughs> burying the hamster. Really? I but think... that's emotional trauma as well as physical. I love There's something kind of peaceful about it, though. Yeah, there is. Like, you're saying goodbye to really? something. Yeah, he d- he, so, yeah. They're kind of like, you know, because he passed away. He was in a funeral coffin box thing. Oh, my and, God. Uh, but tonight I was, you know, just said a few little words. Just being like, thanks for being a great hamster, little buddy. Rest in peace. Felt Did you actually... Like, how yeah, long did, did you yeah. have him? Can, hamst- oh, can, hamsters, so can hamsters be like bad Two and being a hamster? Years. Two and a half yeah. years. Yeah, he never bit me. He enjoyed coming out and having a little play. Some he hamsters, like if you get two tidy. hamsters, wow. one will eat the other one. Yeah, I think what? so. I had Syrian hamsters and you're not su- you're supposed to give like keep them separate. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, they'll kill and eat them. Why is their place of origin relevant? You know, you wouldn't say if they because were English they evolve hamsters, in different would you? Climate, climates. Well, and in Syria, they eat it's each other. It's about that evolutionary Yeah, look history. after our own hamsters before we get the Syrian ones. Mm. Jesus there Christ. are like Robrovsky hamsters or something that like you need to keep them in pairs and stuff. Drink a lot of vodka. Oh, so yeah, damn. it actually does matter. Wow. Otherwise they get lonely. You it's actually weird. You actually well. weirdly know like, a lot no- about wildlife, don't you? I've realised this uh, based on the videos we've been doing lately that you have like a... like the, the Wait, I'll... The- I'll here, look. Look at the giant... Rabbit. Oh. <laughs> the giant book I've got here. Oh, what the fuck? I don't fuck? know if you can read that because it's oh, back wow. to front. What it's the an, hell? It's an, it's an animalium. It's like a... Here, look. Like a big... Oh, what are those? Can you tell Can you tell like us what those are? And... Did the you bees? write that? Are penguins? No, I didn't. Uh, emperor penguins. Height, 1.1 meters. Uh, scientific names. <laughs> Actinodites forsteri. I mean, I could just go on for ages. They're known to travel distances of more than a thousand kilometers in a single foraging trip. Let's play a but game. Yeah. Do you remember when we were talking policy. about re- retention, Arthur? <laughs> Arthur, when we were talking about retention. Right, let's yeah. play a game. The let's penguins game. will love this let's one. Play, let's play yeah. a game. Arthur, yeah. you are going to flip to a random page in that book, and then we're going to flip to another one, and then we have to decide which animal would win in a fight to the death. Who would win the fight? Oh, nice, I like that. See, I'm really like into that. like evolutionary biology, so this is going to be. Oh, it's the penguins again. Sorry, let's let's, <laughs> oh, let's the, leave the penguins. Not the penguins again. Oh my word! Mm. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh shit! Is that a dog? A, a gila monster. monster. Oh, is that real? A dog? <laughs> is that a dog? <laughs> These are early. Let's put it on a leash. <laughs> early, early reptiles. They uh, evolved from amphibians around 320 million years ago. All right oh, now, wow. all right. Let's flip it to something new. Lives. Let's flip it to something new. So, against Gila the monster versus yeah. Yeah. Millipede. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> this is an interesting this. one. An albatross. Oh, land oh. versus sky oh. in an epic battle. Oh, wow. Their all right. wingspan. Does anyone know how big their wingspan is of an albatross? Half like a the angel of the north. Half a centimeter. Yeah. Three meters. I do know. Three I do meters. know. Oh. Yeah. What so I, who do you reckon? I reckon, I reckon Gila Monsters bird. got that, mate. Yeah, it's kind of like Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets. Crazy. Do you know when that yeah, big snake like that. gets its like eyes plucked you out? Mean the basilisk. Mm. Yeah. I think it'll go down like that. I think it'll be a long and <laughs> brutal battle. I think because how how is the 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 
the lizard thing going to actually kill the bird? Well, that, the bird well, has to swoop got, in. See here, you can see. Like, does it have, these, does it, are, these, are the, these are its claws. I mean, you think this is the evolution of claws, like getting uh, bigger and bigger. the float above its head? Um, it looks so, slow, though. This is actually quite cool, because there's, like there's some bonus facts in here. Many can, many can shed <laughs> uh, and regenerate limbs. Oh, he wins then, what? surely. So if, if, if the bird ate its what? foot, it, yeah, it throws it back. So this is, I think, just the like, general <laughs> opening for um, <laughs> reptiles in general. So we've got kind of reptiles versus albatrosses, but, you know. Is the OG reptile. Regenerate limbs, they can change colours. This is actually so wholesome. Like, it this is, is such yeah, a good adorable. segment for the podcast. Mm. I was going to open it. Wait, it's well, actually we're, reminding we're me of something. We about, like, the wildlife in Norfolk. My one, I think. <laughs> and Alex was absolutely fuming. <laughs> no, I was just laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> what, what, it was hilarious. Okay. I see one more. I see one more. Norfolk. What? Yeah. And what was the Norfolk bit? It was the squirrels, wasn't it? All Are right, we talking about the squirrels? So I, th I think the albatross is taking that, by the way. Arthur, would you like to be like the the narrator of like Blue Planet when you know David Attenborough eventually kicks the bucket? Mate, that would literally be a dream. Like doing nature documentaries would be like probably my ultimate dream. I can see it. You've got the voice for it. Like it's wow. you've got a soothing voice. Mm. I feel like you would you would fit the role well. Yeah, thanks. Well, I, maybe I should apply someday. Um, you should. I just give David Attenborough some dodgy sausages. Yeah, that would work. They should do so like a, gonna, like an X Factor I'm style show. Along his demise. <laughs> Let's see if there's any actual like cool ones where I'm like. Oh, no, it's, you've so got to do it random. Cool. You can't cheat. Oh, okay, random. Okay, 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 okay. It's gonna be the penguins again. Here. Oh, <laughs> what's that? What the fuck? Exotic are those? birds. Oh, parrots. Right, pick one. Are we gonna Damn. pick? Let's them. pick a uh, toucan. Oh. Toucan. We'll go for. The oh, I love. I love exotic birds. Me. Nice. Same. Spanish so a toucan. Who wins in a fight between the toucans? <laughs> and. Oh, that's an invertebrate. General page. <laughs> of course. That's the, the blank. Oh, that's that's I've got actually this art on that wall there. You can't see it, but that's the tree of life. All of the our cousins versus the tree wow. of life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right at the top. What have you picked? All the other apes. <laughs> that's a, uh, not fair, is it? Really? Oh, against the jellyfish. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, that's the, a fair one. A bird can, versus a jellyfish. The two can win, surely. <sighs> you think? Jellyfish I can't really know. protect nah. himself. Yeah, but they can go deep. I think the two can yeah, like but... dive in, go for the jellyfish, and it will accidentally yeah, that... touch a tentacle and just. And the jellyfish will sting it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's it. Be immobilized. But surely the the two can would get in from the top. Yeah. Not the tentacles. Yeah, the tentacles. yeah maybe. Mm. Yeah. If, Wouldn't if the it, jellyfish smart, have to like anticipate? Can are. the jellyfish even go upside down? Yeah. Alright, one, well, like, okay, one, one, one more. One more. One more, Arthur. One more, man. I, for goodness sakes. One more. Do you want another one? I've got, I got sent this morning a really Ooh, similar game Arctic as well, by the way, that I want to show. Oh, so you've got to pick one. What is that? Um, mm, what is, I can't I see what's... I reckon Polar Bear. What? Yeah, let's yeah, go. go. Oh, I didn't realize oh, the yeah, let's bear. go polar yeah. bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go for the polar bear. Where is it? What's the black... What's the What's the big one? The big black one? You can't see that anymore. <laughs> um, it's a muskox. Of course. Oh, of course. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words out of your mouth. <laughs> Big black muskox. Uh, versus. Polar bear versus. Ooh, oh, no. Well, it depends on which one we pick because a polar bear is 100% smoking a deer or a giraffe, but a hippo or a rhino. Oh, I've got to go for. Ooh, oh, mate. Yeah. I'm going, Please. I'm going, the, Surely the, the hippo has the polar bear. Polar bear versus hippo. Moved mammals. Hippos are like evil, Hi you know. Hippos are crazy. Hippos are yeah. like, hippos kill like loads of people, don't they? Like, they like weirdly yeah, they kill do. loads yeah. of humans. They're aggressive. One, one of them got some in Hyde Park what? last week. There was a hippo in Hyde Park? Wait. What? Yeah, your mum. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> She's never I'm even so been to London. <laughs> Oh. Jesus Christ. Well, let's move on hey. to the um, the actual list of topics we have. We managed to kill uh, at least fourteen minutes there with that segment. Everybody, um, no. we'll make that animals. we'll make that a regular part of the podcast. If Wait, you guys uh, don't like it. Shout out, Katie Scott. Wait, can I? Oh, I yeah, just Arthur, Arthur Hill has to say. <laughs> There's, I got, I saw a tweet this morning that was similar. I can't say, but I'm hoping it will come up. Basically, it's one bald man is on your side. The rest want to kill you. Who That's do you great. choose? Okay. 
Oh, who have we got? Is it gonna focus? Can you put it in the Discord? Focus. I, I'm gonna guess focus. Andrew Tate is among them. Okay, so it's it's mm, the Rock, yeah. Walter White, Andrew Tate. Um, who's the fucking oh, porn star Johnny called? Sins. Johnny Johnny Sins, Jeff Bezos, and Mike Tyson. Oh. Why do you pick one Mike Tyson? person's on your side? You've got to pick Mike. Yeah, yeah. I mean Mike. In, in, are we talking That's what Mike I Tyson thought, but I, my mates were saying the, the Rock. Fuck? The Rock. It's Mike Tyson, oh, Tyson now. Tyson now. I mean, he'll still pack a punch. But, but then, if it's like an arena battle, then I'm obviously going like Mike Tyson. But if money is involved, I would involved, love to know what absolute Bezos the Rock. is picking Andrew money Tate for that. Oh yeah, <laughs> what but he was a kickboxing Tate champion. <laughs> against the, I would love to see him go up against the Rock and Mike Tyson. That would That'd be insane. Yeah, yeah, it does. Walter White can't right really do it. much, can he? Depends on like the boundaries, because if Jeff Bezos can use yeah. financial means, yeah, he's so new. Exactly. Come. I mean, he must have. If, if, and if Johnny if Sins he can use his cock, country GDP, he must be in the top like fifty richest countries. If he was like a country <laughs> by himself. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Got to be sure. Yeah, he's. I mean, yeah, I, he probably has access to nuclear missiles. It's probably some new Prime Video show that he's got. Mm. And he's like pretty like roided up now. He's like yeah, pretty jacked. Yeah, yeah, he's actually he is he's quite shredded, isn't he? He looks so different from yeah. when he like first started Amazon to like now. Yeah, he's it's younger. so strange. Oh, no. It's really odd. He's got that post post divorce <laughs> glow. Most of them have had it. One seventeen billion. So he actually would be in the top one seventeen. He would be he would be joint fifty ninth with Sudan. Just above Fuck Ukraine. Can you imagine Jeff being Bezos. worth Jeff, 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 Jeff Bezos, pound for pound, could own Ukraine. Fucking hell, that is nuts. What would nuts, you do with it? Ukraine if you owned it, Arthur? I don't, I've never been yet. It's, a, it's actually massive when you see it on the map. And the number of Ukrainian people... That's, that's the part that it prevents you There's from so answering many that question, is the fact that you've never been there. Well, yeah, I don't know what I'd do with it. Mm. Would you help them? Are you, are you expecting me to answer the... <laughs> political conflict between Ukraine and Russia. Like, oh, if I was Ukraine, you know, I'd just, I'd do, you know, counter flank, nuke Moscow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't have any. Pack a punch with guns. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you'd, do, you'd do a high press, would you? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd you know. <laughs> all right, I, let's move God on knows. to the actual topics Football I've terms. got. Um, I've, I've got a few today. They're, we're all, we can get back onto the internet-based topics. Uh, it wouldn't be this podcast Based. if we didn't end up talking about Mr. Fucking Beast. Uh, Mr. Beast is basically. This course again. We've got two Mr. Beast topics um, this week, by the way. Uh, the first one I'll start off with. Did anybody see his tweet about his chocolate bars? No. <laughs> Mate, this is so what have you not? Him for this, Alex. Oh, mate. His tweet about his chocolate bars is maybe <laughs> the best thing on the internet. So basically, he put this post up and he was like, guys, I really need your help. I need people to go to Walmart and go check to make sure that my display unit for my chocolate bars is in perfect, like, shape. Now, it wasn't offering to pay what? anybody for this. He just wanted people to go. Because you know, like, when you go to Tesco, you got all the chocolate bars, right? Mm-hmm. You know, people move them around, like, put them in the wrong places, you know, put them back, stuff like that, knock them over. He okay. wanted, he asked his audience on their own time and free will, to go and basically just clean up the shelves. Sort it out. I'm so Why? curious how many actually did it as well. So I yeah. thought the best thing was, is obviously at first a bunch of people go to Walmart and they tweet in him because they like suck him off and they're being like, Mr. Beast, I fixed it, I fixed it. So then what people started doing is because people were going and fixing the shelves, is then people go straight after people had fixed it after they tweeted it <laughs> and they would destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> so people, there was a video on my feed page of somebody going up to all the Mr. Beast chocolate bars and just snapping them in. Oh my! <laughs> just <laughs> snapping all of them in. So I it's such think... a modern internet age thing, isn't it? To just completely polarize. Like, no, not only am I not going to tidy them up, I'm going to actually destroy the stand. Oh, it's so yeah. fucking funny though, because that's exactly. <laughs> There's no grounds for neutrality. You either hate it and want to ruin it. I'll really I would do it. Bait, if I was 14, I would do that. Like, I would I would just purposely kind of... Not just break one ever so slightly so that it just kind of looks wrong. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just like just to disappoint the person who bought it. I need your help. Next time you see Feastables in Walmart, if you could clean up the presentation and make it look better, that'd make me happy. I'm building a team to do this routinely, but I need help in the short term. As um, well, he did the he did the puppy insane. dog eyes emoji. So it's like, so we guys, <laughs> if you can clean up my chocolate, yeah. like it just changes the tone to be so unusual. <laughs> so good. If you just you know he's donating. Have you seen the thing? He's donating a hundred grand to charity to thank everyone for helping him. Oh well, that's well now I, can I can't know, laugh about it anymore. Yeah, can you, I? <laughs> yeah, you fucking horrible you bastard. Sick freak. I'd love to like just take it like so extreme and just like sh like if I was in America, just like go and into the Walmart with a gun and just fucking shoot all the chocolate. <laughs> I thought you were going the other way like, like, I was confused. I thought you were gonna you were gonna find like yeah. Because I wait for people Fuck to it. buy a festival. Chuck a grenade in the fucking <laughs> section. Bloody hell! It is it is mental. But then the thing is, right? Like on um, on serious Mr. Beast news, because I just find sometimes that his tweets can just be a little jarring. I think he's, he could be slightly out of touch, like uh, asking people to work for him for free. But then he donates all of his money away. So then you have to be nice to him. Um, but you know we love Mr. Beast here. <laughs> if we do. Uh, mm. I just found that to be very odd. The so next on to one, the more serious one, yeah. Yeah, was the philanthropy stuff. Like, Mr. Beast is being flamed right now by, like, loads of people on Twitter because he does charity work. It's... I, I'm not really... I yeah, don't, I don't so really, weird. I don't really understand it. Um, like, I think, like, being like, oh, sometimes... We spoke about weird. this when he, when he did the eyesight thing, didn't we? Just how it could be a bit jarring, mm. yeah. Like, when he cured the, the eyesight, we spoke about it, and then now... Yeah. Yeah, it is like it is I mean some of the videos are yeah. like strange, but I'm seeing people like generally get so annoyed at him because he gave loads of people shoes. Um I Yeah, he gave like what was it? It was 20,000 people in Well, how was dare it? he? Yeah, 20, he gave 20,000 kids shoes and it like reignited the reignited the discussion again. Do you not think it's so weird though? Cause... It does. I'm not gonna lie. It does give me. Yeah, it gives me a weird feeling. Something about it just gives me a weird feeling. Like I, I don't is... like care that much. Like, I think the... it's obviously a good thing, but there's something just weird about it. It's mm. the thing is right. It's, yeah, it's, it's always it's a, a bit strange weird that like, someone's getting like views and money even if he doesn't pocket it. It's the yeah. juxtaposition. But I also I think, think right, isn't it, of like the way that the content is presented and then what it achieves. I think that's mm. what is, and I think. People getting annoyed at pointing out that that's weird. I think being like generally like saying it's bad is strange. But for me, what I find is odd is like when you're used to a charity thing, it's slow. It's like this is really bad. Here's what's going on. But when you know, pop a video and it's like twenty thousand shoes for kids in South Africa. It's like I don't really, I don't know why he has to do it like that. But, but that's I, like how it works. Like that's the that's the reason he can fund it. Because if he did yeah, it exactly. slowly, he wouldn't have the money. It would to be get ten k views. So, like, I yeah. get it. And I, I get the kind of like, because the, the people on Twitter, I feel like the main point is people going like, it's kind of reinforcing the idea that it's up to rich people to survive, um, to like solve problems rather than being like, actually, it's not up to rich people to give their money or you guys to donate. It's up to the government to like fix the like systemic issues, which makes sense. But it's just, it, they're aiming the targets at the wrong people. They should be thanking Mr. Beast for like, allowing that to have a platform and be like hey by the way guys like mr beast is trending you know th th by yeah. the way you know it shouldn't be him solving this it should surely, be the government yeah surely here's mr. how you do that highlights and... that problem right surely like yeah he, he probably should he probably should do the things i find that, jarring definitely. about mr beast is like his insane love for elon musk but beyond that i think the guy's just i think he's a pretty clearly is it a not nice weird guy. though that like do you think it's weird how people complain at charities when you give, let's say you give a hundred thousand pound to charity and you never really see where it goes? Like mm. people complain about that all the time. So now someone is donating a hundred thousand pound and you see where it goes and now they complain about that. They complain like, about the you can't really it. win either I, way. I get it because the videos are jarring, but the difference is like if he was getting one over on you and he wasn't donating the money or he was taking a huge profit then I'd understand it. That's why I leave it at like, okay, we can all laugh at how strange Mr. Beast videos are and how they're clearly aimed at people who aren't us for in this call here. But they get hundreds of millions of views. But then it's like, beyond that, it's like, it works and he actually isn't doing anything wrong. So you've kind of got to leave that at the door. I think to then be like, oh, they're jarring and therefore they suck is strange. But he is clearly... Mm. Also, if he was stealing money, he'd be so fucked like 
Could you imagine if it turned up Mr. Beast? Yeah, because Mr. Done. Beast philanthropy is charity. It's a non-profit, isn't it? Because like, he doesn't earn it profit from the... That oh, would be the greatest the turnaround. Exactly evil. Like, Mr. Beast actually... Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be unreal. Imagine. And, like, the chocolate is actually, like... He's, he's, like, put, like, fucking cyanide in it. He's building, like, his own evil robot to, like, <laughs> kill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> he will take over if he carries on this way. Also, yeah. the, the, the other funny thing is, like, people act as if, like, charity is any different. And, like, I don't know. Like, I, I did a work experience with a charity, like, years ago. And I remember going to, like, see the CEO's house. And they lived in a mansion. Yeah. And this person was, like, you know, it was, like, multi-bed, absolutely massive, big garden property. And, like, the idea that Mr. Beast is pro profiting from it. So it's, like, an evil kind of charity, like... If you give a pound to charity that like builds wells in Africa, like all one like not every penny goes directly towards building so those isn't wells. It like, like really you know, low percentage. Loads of people taking salaries. What's it's the... a really low percent. Yeah, I mean their whole company. Is yeah, like I don't know. Like I, I, I get the outrage to a certain extent, but I feel like it's misguided a little Virgin, bit. I feel like there are much more productive ways of. Um, the Virgin Black Virgin, I don't know what the charity, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the charity's called, but the Virgin one, they, like, take, like, 25% Fuck. Yeah. of everything you donate. No. Fucking hell. It's so, I'm like, sure if, if you donate like 10 quid, to be yeah, like, right. oh, if I donate a pound to this charity, because yeah. I think they've got to be quite transparent about it, and you can be like, how much of it actually goes mm. towards, like, the end goal of... You know whatever it might be what is the overall like reaction though is is it like more negative or it's nah, just the negative positive. people are like louder well i positive. saw some of our friends tweet about It'll it be... like i saw james yeah. james marriott tweeted about it and there was like he had a few weird like weirdos quote tweets tweet being like um oh of course you'd like support mr beast because you know him and it's like well also he did just give twenty thousand people shoes in south africa i think, I think that's a pretty valid most reason. critical tweeted about it as well like same kind of thing Charlie tweeted like, you know, Mr. Beast has just given 20,000 people shoes. Let's find out how many Twitter weirdos can like spin this into a negative thing. What and people... I do think it is a Twitter thing. Like, mm. what if they you were... polled, I think what they were like, saying is that people the fact on YouTube that... and every other platform, they just wouldn't care. I think they were saying that because he is rich, that therefore, you know, that outdoes the charity. Like the in inherent... Could have been 25,000. Like the inherent... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, they were like, he should do more. But like, I don't think... Like... Yeah, There's definitely really... a hatred of rich yeah. people on Twitter as well, isn't there? Well, understandable, to be fair. Most rich people suck. Um, but I think Mr. Beast is... Mr. Beast isn't Elon Musk, isn't... I don't know, fucking <laughs> Jeff Bezos. He isn't one of those... He's one of those crew. Like, I, I feel like Mr. Beast has, has been going for long enough where if he was genuinely, like, an awful person, I think you'd fucking know. YouTubers get exposed for way less, so... So like yeah, mm. it's all about YouTubers. Um, who are awful people. Uh, Jake Paul. Um, have you seen the fucking <laughs> big debate about him? Apparently, how he was meant to stand up to ten people and fight. Them oh to the my death. god, I've seen this. What is this about? Have you guys? Because there's that video of Floyd Mayweather. By the way, the world champion boxer. Um, sending ten of his mates to beat Jake Paul up and Jake Paul runs away and people being like oh the Jake pussy. Paul oh, he's a pussy I even saw KSI was like oh lol you know L and I was like why is he meant to stand there and just get fucking lamped by 10 people like that's mental one know? thing I loved was this the security guard like there was only one security guard for Jake and he was like Trying to get all of the ten like this to try and block them. I was like, he's got some serious balls in. Like, he must be yeah, paid a be, lot. He better be getting a fat bonus. For yeah. That, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, my man's on a hell of a wage. You know, bodyguards so get so much money. Like they get paid they? so well. Yeah, yeah, they get paid a lot. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like. To, um, to be fair, I can like imagine a lot, that. like triple figures. Like if I'm you've got a, it. if it comes to it, and yeah. someone pulls a gun on you, and essentially the bodyguard has to jump between you and the gun. Like, you better be paying them well. Would you do that, though? Yeah. I don't think no matter who it was and nah. how much money, I wouldn't I, do it. Do I look no, like I uh, Do I look like the bodyguard? It's a weird like... job. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think I'd take a bullet for Jake Paul. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think if he paid me enough, I might. But it'd have to be a lot. Really? It'd have to be a lot. Depends mm. where the bullet was as well. In your dick. I'd... <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm, I'd take no. one to, like, the thigh for a couple mil. Easy. 
If Jay Ball was like, I'll, I'll pay you a mil and I just have to like shoot and you in the shoots, quad. And he shoots no, you. Shoot you in the thigh. Just in the quad, out the quad. <laughs> That's fucked. That's awful. And like, and I thought, oh, yes, yeah. Where would this scenario ever be? <laughs> what is, yeah, what have you invented here? <laughs> if I would I let Jake know. Paul pay me I a couple of million to I, shoot me in the leg. I can imagine rich people do that. I mean, have you heard about the Dubai stuff? I mean, this is quite old news, but the poor stuff. You think stuff, Jake Paul is like paying people, people if, to shoot mm. them? <laughs> to shoot them? <laughs> me? Who knows? The, the, I... I, it would not surprise me at all if a, I mean we already know that a bunch of billionaires do a bunch of sick shit behind closed doors having some sort of like yeah like Mr. You know, Beast asks people to stack, his, stack shells for him for free horrible <laughs> bastard <laughs> yeah and gives away shoes if you're a billionaire what kind of sick things would you do behind closed doors um I think I would torture all rabbits <laughs> you're sick what the fuck Just that get was, a I was gonna get a rabbit and torture so them. Remi remind me not to invite you around my house when I get a rabbit <laughs> Oh, I'll be first, mate. <laughs> I wonder what happens with oh, like dear. suddenly you like enter into enter into like the one percent and then just decide that you'd love children. Why is that such a common thing? I think theme they would them? know from birth. Is I it? think it's I think it's always within them. I always find this freaky. I, I if you think about what the chances are that these people get rich and like just a miraculous huge number of them are nonces, I actually reckon that like the world is a lot scarier than we realise and that a lot more people would be if they could. Well, you can just sit there with your little animal book and you can just count, you count all the animals. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not including myself into this. <laughs> good. Yeah. I would well, that's good. Good. At least yeah. we can really well. well I'd have for, to be. Yeah, thanks for rolling yourself out there, uh, Arthur, mate. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. I, I, I'm I'd like, have to be really rich to be a pedo. <laughs> like, really rich. How rich? How, How rich, rich are you rich? talking? How much money do you need? I think, I think I'd only consider it <laughs> I'd only consider it if I hit the billion mark, I think. Oh, then I would fucking you get just go on a rampage. It's awful. That's fucking yeah. dreadful. Absolute rampage. That's Make so up for bad. lost time. Um, talking about it's just so unnecessary as well. If you're a billionaire, <laughs> just being like... That's the, pro you're, that's you're the problem with paedophilia, guys. <laughs> it's unnecessary. <laughs> it's just unnecessary. <laughs> It's like just have could, a deal. They're, they're a billionaire. The number of adult worldies <laughs> that will be like, I would love to sleep with you, you're a billionaire. Just pick one of them. <laughs> Yeah, but they're They'll not enjoy kids, it as well. Yeah, but they're sort of the same. Not as much as they're not ripe enough. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, no. <laughs> Talking about children. Um, <laughs> snapshot Eye. What? We've got a Snapshot oh. Eye update. Um, have you seen nice. the video of him, Brilliant. him just in like the children's toy store? It's very no. awesome. Yeah. I saw the video of him in the park. He doesn't even have the excuse of being a billionaire. <laughs> no, he does. Because <laughs> that makes it fine. Because there, yeah. there was a there was a video of him in the park with a kid that he did a a, a like rant about. Did you see that? What rant about the kid? No. So he was basically no. spotted in the park, and someone did a TikTok like, "Oh my God, snap your eye with this random like three year old kid." And you he just did this TikTok but you would be confused, like, wouldn't you? You'd be like, "What's he doing in the in the park?" You would park? be, and and he was like, "This is my mate's kid. It's sick of you." To show this random kid's face and put them on blast on TikTok. He's right Which, about to be that. Fair, he is right about that. The first time I've agreed with Paul. He's like, correct about it's that. It's a bit weird going like this. Poor little three-year-old is now in like you know, being speculated to be a victim of grooming, and I think it was just his mate's child. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit tough. Up. To People, up people, I think a lot of those. I think sometimes <laughs> the the filming mm. pool thing has gone like considerably too far, in many places, but um, but he goes out begging for it though. The fucker, if he didn't make himself such a... If he didn't go out on purpose to get recognised all the time, he wouldn't be filmed all the time. Um, like, it, that's where I start to lose sympathy for him because for a lot of people, it's a byproduct of just being well-known <laughs> on the internet. Out. That's what we do. <laughs> well, yeah, I think we've all probably been recognised out and about on the tube, I'd assume. But, like, I don't ever leave the house being like, oh, what's the best place I could go to to get recognised? Whereas Paul will, like, on purpose walk around malls just to like drive up engagement with his jacket on with his yeah. snapshot eye jacket on yeah with the jacket on <laughs> yeah. like the look it's me and he's doing it on purpose and he literally tours the UK on purpose you can't tell me he doesn't do that intentionally so you know why does he do that it can't be just yeah, it is weird it is yeah and also because he's sleeping with like women. Like, to us. He's sleeping with women as well off of TikTok and stuff. No, nah, not that kind of tour. Not for like an audience, as in like, he's just always randomly spotted in like Birmingham, then Reading, and then Leeds, and then Cam, Manchester. Cam, have you not like, seen the map? He just pops up. 
No. What happens if it's like a multiverse and there's like more than one? Well, this is the we thing because because one day he'll <laughs> wow, be in Durham. That's England. quite. A... Like he'll be in Durham, England, <laughs> and the next day there'll be a TikTok of him in Bournemouth. And about how has he travelled that it's far? It's like the Why did you robot. specify England. Yeah. Well, Durham, yeah, to Durham Bournemouth. England. Durham, England, and then Bournemouth, Bournemouth England. England. <laughs> yeah, those two places. Not what Bournemouth. Where elsewhere, Bournemouth. Or, yeah. What you? I don't understand why that was. But where else, Durham? Why clarify Durham, England? No, but, yeah. I didn't say England, did I? Why did you say Durham, England? It was the fact that you clarified Durham, and not the fact that you didn't clarify Bournemouth. I don't think Cam Kirkham knows where Durham is, <laughs> even though he lived right next to it and in it. So I had to. What? Just what? Explain. What kind of insult is that? Like my a geography GCSE insult? Is Shout that? Shout out Durham. Yeah, Shout exactly. Out Durham. Yeah. Whilst you were saying, actually, get, uh, when Durham. you made that joke, <laughs> Durham, that's where Durham is on the map. <laughs> Gets in here. <laughs> Me and Cam are Durham um, boys. Nah, you, you know, you were just saying, like, it would have. Wait, yeah. you are as well, Alex. I live there, but at the same time, Cam did. No, I, I'm not a Durham boy. I need to clarify that. I just lived in Durham. Same. Oh, yeah, me too. Wait, did you as well, Alex? Yeah, I lived in Durham. Yeah, Alex did. I didn't know you lived in Durham. Yeah, in, in like 2000. All three of you lived in Durham. Wait, Arthur, did you live in no, Durham? We, I lived, lived in, in Durham. You lived in Durham? Yeah, I lived in Durham. Well, you... Wait, what is going <laughs> on here? <laughs> my sister did. My twin what sister. What in the fuck? Did you actually live in Durham? Me? Arthur? Yeah. Y yeah, yeah, I did. I went to uni there for four years. I never knew that. Did what? you know? What? No. Wait, where? Yeah. What the fuck? Years? I didn't know that. I lived, I lived on Winnie Hill, Viaduct. Oh, oh my. Well, you lived on, on the on Winnie Hill. Mate, I lived in fucking Little Town. Wait, that's so. What the fuck is going on? Wait, I lived in... Are you being serious? Are yes. you being actually serious? I lived Alex? in Little. T I lived I... in Little Town. I lived oh, in Bourbon, which was the cheaper part. Oh, Bob Yeah, that's that's outside. And then I I, I, I lived shadows. I lived yeah. in a cres. I, I originally lived in a crescent that was like about a minute walk from you know the subway and the sushi place in town. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I lived literally right next well. to the subway. Like two minute walk, we'd go every morning. Wow. This is in 2016. Wow, this, this is mind blowing. This is Everybody exciting for love me. This. This is fun Shout out Darren, oh, everybody. Poor Arthur Hill, just <laughs> edge of the seat stuff. <laughs> I was, I was going to say really quickly, just on your joke when you were like, Cam, when you were like, oh, it'll be a tough day at kindergarten for that kid or whatever. I don't know why I say kindergarten, nursery or whatever. Classic Darren. Yeah. Um, how young do you think <laughs> the like youngest age group that like watch the TikToks that know about Paul actually is? Oh, that's a good show. Actually. Do you reckon there are like actual like? So if I think my sister Year is six, probably my sister is eleven, and I don't think would be on the. Is that primary school? Year seven, right? I year think seven. eleven is the. Don't the you first get really year. Get a phone. Year, year seven. Uh, okay. Year seven, I got given a phone Mate, because no. I was walking to school, so I was like, "Here's a phone." My siblings aren't allowed phones. I I think year six. <laughs> I think people will know Snapchat. I really. Yeah, I th I don't I. Like some. Have you ever seen those like a uh, brand thing downgrades, like where you see like the old logos and then the new like really boring minimalist ones? And, yes. Like, all these fashion designers go from like cool fonts to the same. That like, yeah. Branding downgrade is how I feel about Snapshot Eye to Beauty Beyond the Eye and. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like Snapshot Eye's name. <laughs> iconic name. I don't know why he ever changed it. Because he was being called a paedophile. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think when you type in your but name and the word paedophile him, comes surely. up, you change your name. I think at that point, and that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the move. Oh, um, <laughs> time to do a check. I'm actually so curious. <laughs> On good, not the, not whether it comes up bit, saying bit too quick actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bit too quick. Is there, Arthur Martha. TV Christmas Shit, on I need Netflix? To that's a bit boring. Let's see. Is I'm Alex yeah. dating Lauren Alexis? That's a great question. <laughs> Oh, is, is Arthur Hill related to James Blunt? <laughs> related. And is Cam he is beautiful. Kirk, is Cam no. Kirkham from Newcastle? <laughs> Why am I the only one that's not actually recognised? No, he's from Durham. Is <laughs> Arthur not. TV an aardvark? What? Or Christmas? It's all... Oh, is it a TV show? show like, when you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, Arthur. And I said, hey. Hey, what well, a wonderful time, but Did hey. you get that a lot in school? Arthur. Uh, funny yeah, I was going to ask, Arthur, did you get that? Because I got that so much. Did you? I actually weirdly like just didn't. People, people singing the thing to him. It is a banger. People people started doing it to me when I was like yeah. late teens. And I was always such a fan because I just love the song. 
He's yeah, like dance to jam mm. The that lyrics are song. just so wholesome. Like, what a wonderful type of learn thing. to work and play and get along with each other. Listen to your heart. Listen to the beat. Hell yeah. Listen to the rhythm of the street. Rhythm of you know. the street. It's just nice. It's very soulful. Oh, it's yes. Very sweet one. It's good. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> you come to work, play. No, 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 no. What a tune, man. Get along with each, each other. other. You got to listen to your heart. Listen, listen to, to the beat. Listen, listen to, to the, the rhythm, rhythm. The rhythm, rhythm of, of the street. street. Unbelievable, guys. What the lag here is absolutely killing this collab. It is. Yeah, there's an fair. echo in here. <laughs> um, so what was I going to yeah, say? No. Uh, moving times? on. Have you seen... Um, uh, I, I saw... Well, I got asked a question actually on Instagram that people wanted us to answer. Um, that I feel like would be a, a pretty Ooh. decent one. And then we'll, <coughs> then we'll go on to the final topic of today's episode. Which is, um, who do you think... Oh, this could be anything in general, by the way. Could be anything. Football. Could be music. Who do you reckon is the craziest fan base? Ronaldo what, just... and Messi have to be up there. Yeah, but they're not like blowing each other I up think... and shit. Over that. Selena Gomez's fan base at the minute is fucking insane, to be fair. It's pretty mental. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because, um... yeah, tell you what, like the, the younger girl lot, when they if they want to be mean and gang up on you, uh, Ariane, like I, I've had a weird influx of like Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift. Uh, and like Nicki Minaj type followers. And every now and then I'll, like, I'll see the follow, like you've been followed by and it'll be like Ariana Grande and I'll click on the profile. And some of the like hate and like gang violence that happens in those kind of communities is crazy. Really? Yeah. Like they, honestly, if you have like, if you put Nicki Minaj as your profile picture and write a tweet slandering Taylor Swift, you will get cooked. Is it like the Crips and the Bloods? <laughs> kind of. Do you remember K- K-pop? I feel like doesn't have the same kind of fan base it used to, but that used to be a scary one on Twitter as well. Yeah, I used to think the, the you know the, when the mm. Minecraft people were big. Uh, oh yeah, that was intense as well, wasn't it? I don't know yeah, who would have the most wild. intense fan base. Like surely, like you go for like the KKK or I something, don't, don't you? If you're talking about intense. <laughs> oh my! Well, if we're talking numbers, you could go like God, Chris, Christianity God, and Islam. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, You've Jesus Christ, he's got pretty there. crazy yeah. fans. He only had 12. Mm. Um, yeah, <laughs> no. I think it's... I, I don't actually... Nice. I don't actually know. Who would you say? Um, Dream. Anyone? Craziest fans. Ha- Dream. I mean, Harry Styles fans are pretty crazy, yeah. aren't they? And they're not like, obsessed. Yeah. I saw Harry Styles won, like, the, 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 the prettiest smile and, like, all his fan base, like, were, like, going wild for it. I was like, yeah. wow, he's, like, the prettiest smile in the world. Like, out of everyone. Yeah, that oh, would be the world, God. yeah. That would be. That <laughs> yeah. some, sure? Some people... Uh, yeah, would, no, damn, some people are not on the planet, are they not? No, I try to make a funny joke and I just didn't fucking... F- Scam, Cam, 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 Cam's going, shout out to those, uh, everybody, everybody, joke, just didn't say it. Cam's going, shout out to everybody on the US space station, I got all seven of you <laughs> up there. <laughs> You you guys deserve to be oh. you guys deserve to be respected. That's what I did. I set the joke up and someone else finished it. That's like what I'm assist, after. mate. It's like the assist. Um, who well, would I'm, you say, Alex? I feel like we've all said the pretty smile. Wait, yeah. What what was the, what was the question? Did you say the the, the, the biggest fan base. fan base or the scariest? The scariest at the worst. Oh, the, the worst. Craziest. Craziest. Yeah, craziest. Oh, oh the worst. Oh. Like, like, I guess, oh, uh, crazy! Well, stop changing the word. I think, Worst, I think, craziest. I think, I think for me, the ones that like generally just like unhinged and move, just kind of like in this strange mob. The one that annoys me personally the most would be the the Minecraft stands. But that's I've got personal. Oh. I think it just comes in numbers, doesn't it? It's literally like anything. Like the 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 people with the biggest followings and loyalist followings, they're gonna have nutcases just pure numbers game I think the thing they're going to be the loudest I, the thing I don't so like about the Minecraft stands is more like they were very easily weaponized by uh, by people um, for like you know by creators weaponized yeah they were weaponized but, like, what do you mean by that they, what do you well, mean by that well I you know like I had a part I went to a party of my mates and then all it took was for one oh, yeah. one one stupid tweet by an influential creator to Make that an absolute fucking nightmare when it was perfectly fucking normal. It had been four months since lockdown had ended. But, um, you know, so, so I how do. Much, how much, yeah, was that the bold? That ruined your life. 
Well, the thing about the, well, the bowling thing is that's where that's the one time where I've seen a, an audience a weaponized in such see. a crazy way. I've never woken up before and seen eighty-eight thousand <laughs> tweets about the word bowling. Is um, that how much there were? That was how much there were in the morning. There was about two hundred thousand by the end Crikey. of the day. Yeah, all because we had See, a... I, all, because, all, because, all because 50, 50 of us went bowling, right? 50 of us like went bowling four months after the pandemic ended. But they're in America and they're thick. But in, in America, in America it was different, wasn't it? Because I yeah, because people in America can. Anyway. People in America, they're thick, mate. They're thick and stupid, that's why. Because people in America are dumb. Mate, don't say that. That'll be like half the viewers. Whoa. I actually love all of you. So, I yeah. actually don't have an Retweet. American audience. I don't have an American audience anymore. Opinions on my own. My American audience is what about four percent. <laughs> you flame them all out. Yeah, uh, you four percent are real ones. I I wanted to get rid of them. Um, so if you're American watching this, uh, sincerely, <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, just go away, guys. Um, but that I I I'm gonna call it there for this episode. You can episode. come hang with me, Cam and Arthur. Yeah, go watch them. That's what oh, you can do. Arthur. Arthur's, 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 Arthur's camera's gone. Arthur's, yeah, he doesn't Arthur's want the gone. Americans, mate. He doesn't Arthur, want them. Arthur Hill is American himself. Well, if you guys want to go check out everybody's YouTube no, channels, American, you? uh, they'll be linked in the description below. That'd be fantastic. And um, yeah, thank you for watching this little short episode this week. Uh, we'll be back next week um, when I'm no longer uh, falling asleep uh, during the podcast. I need to go to bed. I'll see you guys soon, everybody. Bye.